everyone. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. Okay, before we put the intake manifold on, now is a good time to install the intermediate shaft. That's because you can get your hand in here, you can see inside, and it makes it a lot easier. Now in the previous video I did, I used a tool like this, this tool, to turn the oil pump so I could pre-lube the engine. And I got a lot of good questions out of that, comments, uh, emails, uh, text messages asking me, isn't the oil pump hooked up to the camshaft? And the answer is yes, but it can be a variety of ways. This particular engine has an intermediate shaft, but usually the oil pump is driven from the distributor. The distributor has a gear on it, and there might be a shaft between the distributor and the, the uh, oil pump. Um, there could be a direct connection if it's long enough. There could be a, a, a rod, usually like a hex rod like that. Some have put a rod extensions, some have uh, keyways, and some of them just have slots. This one has, this engine has an intermediate shaft. And the bottom portion of this you'll see is, is like a hex key. And this hex key is the same as the tool that I used. The hex key matches the same size. That's why I use this tool to prime the engine because it, it, it goes right into the oil pump. And that's what the intermediate shaft does. The intermediate shaft meshes with the camshaft. It goes into the oil pump and the top part has a slot for the distributor. And it's important to put this in the correct way so that the slot is facing the same way. So when you put the distributor in, the distributor goes right in the slot and the rotor on top of the distributor is pointing at the number one position on the cap. Now you wanna make sure that you have piston number one at top dead center in firing position so that when you position this and the distributor's plugged in, it points to number one, ready to fire. First we start with the distributor. Now if you'll notice, these clips that hold the cap on, these can come out of here. So make sure that you um, hold those in place, or, or don't have them on at this point, it really doesn't matter. This distributor has a Pertronics unit in it, which means this takes the place of the resistor, the points, all the stuff that goes with the original car. So this just makes it easier and eliminates all the points, resistor and all that stuff. So first, the distributor is going to go in the distributor hole here. And usually, the way it was done in 69, this vacuum module for the vacuum advance points up. Now this rotor turns, okay? And usually, number one is over here. The firing order is one, the firing order for the engine is 184. So you go 184, it goes counterclockwise because if you recall in the oiling video, I said that the oil pump turns backwards. That's because when the distributor is in here and the intermediate shaft is turning, it's rotating this way. And since this is going counterclockwise, that is the direction that I turn the oil pump. So number one is going to be around here somewhere. And when you put this around number one, I'm just going to put the cap on here just to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm around number one somewhere, around a spot on the cap that's number one. So right about here, so if I keep this my hand on this and I take the cap off, right about here is number one, so it's, it's pretty much pointing at number one, or it's pointing at a spark plug location, and we'll call this one number one. That's usually number one on the Mopar, so it's pointing right there. And if I have this pointing at number one, and I call that number one, you'll notice that the the uh, inner the, the bottom of the distributor, the tab that goes into the intermediate shaft, is pointing parallel to the crankshaft. So there's the slot, the bushing where the intermediate shaft goes through the distributor slot here. And I'm going to keep my this tool handy, the tool that I used to prime the oil pump. Keep that handy because sometimes you have to turn the oil pump just a little bit in order for that to line up. So first, I'm just going to do a test. I want to end up with this slot on the intermediate shaft parallel, parallel with the crankshaft. So I'm going to just put this in here, slide this in, make sure the oil pump lines up. And since it's going with the camshaft, it's going to rotate a little bit as you put it in. See how that rotates as you put it in? It rotates as you drop it in place. So it's off 90 degrees, so I got to rotate it quite a bit. Rotate it quite a bit. Maybe one more tooth. 
and there. Now you see when it settles, with piston number one at top dead center, the rotor or the line engagement for the distributor is pointing parallel to the crankshaft. Now I have assembly lube all the way around my gear and on the bottom. You want it on the bottom because the bottom part is what rides on the bronze bushing. So I'll set it up one more time. Slide this in and I'll start with it. So I got to turn a couple, another tooth. So I got to turn a couple teeth. It's off by one tooth. There, it's fully seated, fully seated all the way down, and you can see the slot in the in the uh, intermediate shaft is pointing parallel to the crankshaft, so it's installed straight. Now you can see, looking straight down the distributor hole, that the slot is almost pointed perfectly parallel to the crankshaft. Now I have the distributor I'm going to put in, and I have to engage the slot on a distributor with the slot in, in the intermediate shaft. Now you can see that this is pointing to number one, which is right here. And when I put the cap on, like that, so if I say right here, put my finger right there, and put the cap on, It's just a matter of rotating it, but number one is right here. So this is the number one spark plug. It all lines up with the rotor. The rotor is in the intermediate shaft, and it's all timed correctly. Putting in and timing the intermediate shaft before you put the intake manifold on makes it a hell of a lot easier. So that's why I do it now. And that makes sure that you have the timing right, the distributor's installed correctly, it's pointing towards number one, and you're all set with piston number one at top dead center. So when you go to start it up, it'll start up immediately and you won't have to hunt for the timing. Pretty important, that intermediate shaft timing is very important and I hope that helps you out. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. <laughs>